But what's up guys, it's Anna. Um, how are you doing in quarantine? I'm actually doing pretty well. I know this title is a little bit harsh and believe me, I want people to stop being sick. I want people to not lose their job the economy to recover. I also want to go see my friends and travel and I don't know, be out in the world, but I really think that this quarantine has been something that's actually extremely good for our society and maybe what we actually needed. It's forced people to slow down and really take a look at their lives and what's important. A lot of people try to distract themselves constantly with just things that are going on, stresses, all of that, trying to distract themselves from being unhappy with their lives. And this has made people really take the time to look and reflect on who they are and what is important in life. And I think that is actually what everyone needs to be doing all the time. Creativity has blossomed at the very least, it's free and therapy. And if it turns out you're an artist in any capacity, then you've made a new awesome contribution to the world that wouldn't have been there before. And on that front, I'm honestly never bored. I moved in with Paloma two weeks before quarantine started, and so it's just been like a hangout party sort of thing every day since then, but it's because we're so creative as well. There's always something new to learn or create, and honestly, I'm living a version of my best life because I have the time to put efforts towards my creative endeavors, which is making videos, working on music, you know, literally anything creative though. And I'm still getting paid with my job, which I feel extremely lucky to still have. So it actually works out to be the perfect balance of what I need in my life because I can work and get paid and be good at that job, but also put my efforts towards my passion as much as I want to as well. So honestly, couldn't be living much better. Everyone has time to spend with their families and the people that are important to them. You know, it should be extremely prevalent in these times that nobody's promised tomorrow. So why not take the time that you've always wanted to spend with the people that you love and have a good time with them. You know, it's it's a coronacation, like some people are saying on social media. There are a lot of bad things that led to this, but there are always good things that you can take from it. So enjoy it and soak up every single moment that you get to spend with the people that make life worth living. Next on my list is the environment. I honestly truly believe that the world gave us this to help itself recover. It was like, you're killing us, so I'm gonna give this thing to stop you from killing me so that I can recover and be fruitful again, I guess is the best way to put it. It's incredible how many natural changes have happened that are for the good of the world. Things are starting to blossom more, things that were nearly dead are coming back to life, pollution has gone down. For instance, the smog in LA, non-existent now. I can see the stars in Beverly Hills. I don't know if all of you understand how crazy that is, but everyone thought that Los Angeles, there's no way all the light pollution and whatever. Yes, there's a little bit of light pollution. However, the smog was most of the pollution from being able to see the stars in the sky. I can see almost as many stars here as I could in the suburbs of Dallas where I grew up. And when I say suburbs, it's like more country than suburbs. So that's a decent amount of stars that I can see. It's incredible and I never ever want that to change. I hope that when people are released from quarantine that we really all take a look at everything and say, hey, we're gonna be more eco-friendly so we can keep these amazing things that have come out of quarantine in the world around us. Yes, there are many negatives to the situation. We don't want people to be sick. We don't want people to pass away. We want the economy to recover. We want to feel free again. But I think the goal in life is to be happy and happiness is a glass half full mentality. You can choose to strive for happiness no matter what the situation is if you focus on your blessings. There are ways you can volunteer and contribute to your community while we're all sick at home. But other than that, the world returning to healthy and free, it's not in your hands. So you might as well use this time to feel free of those obligations that you used to use as excuses for not being happy. Spend this time really taking a look at yourself and figuring out what to your core makes you happy and makes you feel like life is worth living and do those things. You have all this free time that's away from all the stresses of life. So take it and use it for all it's worth. We're not gonna get this again. Everyone has those down days, those feelings of feeling isolated or lonely, but you can change that. You can get on FaceTime or Skype or whatever you use to video chat your friends, learn about a small town you never knew existed. Follow those people on Instagram Live who are giving free classes for dances or art or whatever they're giving free classes for that would have cost you a lot of money before. Even follow the artists who are giving free concerts. There's so much free stuff that is happening on social media and whatnot. Pick a new hobby. You can perfect a hobby that you always want to make your career and make it your career from here on out. Who says you have to go back to life that was normal before? There's a new normal and it's whatever you want to make it. And at the absolute top of the list, no matter if it's virtual or in person, spend this time with the people that matter. Let them know how much they mean to you, how much you love them, how much you appreciate them because tomorrow isn't promised and this is the perfect time to really spend that quality time with them. 
Obviously, I want quarantine and eventually, but I'm becoming my best self while I have time to, and I urge you to do the same. So that's about it for this video. Leave in the comments what new hobby you've picked up. Share this video with someone who's important to you so they're on the same wavelength as you. Subscribe, like, turn notifications on because I post videos every time my internet works. And although I moved into a new place and my internet is slightly better, it still is not great. So I post videos every time my internet works. Hit the notification bell so you know when that is. I will see you next time.